what I'm most interested to talk to you about is the big changes this year. Everybody's been talking about chat GTP like nonstop through the last, what has it been 14 days now? Yeah, just two weeks uh, since that came out. Uh, but there were some other things that happened earlier this year that actually were precursors to that. And let's not forget, there are a lot of things have happened, multiple iterations of uh, some of these text to image models as well. Yeah, probably probably the biggest thing right out the gate was instruct GPT. And so this is uh, an open AI training approach where they basically took their existing GPT-3 model and using this process known as reinforcement learning with human feedback, they basically made it align better with the needs of GPT-3 developers. So with instruct GPT, when you enter a prompt, uh, you get back an answer, which is more suitable to what you are asking, the kind of format or template or quality of response. And there were improvements across safety and trust as well. And so uh, basically uh, it was uh, pretty significant in my opinion, because up until this year, we weren't even sure if language models could be made safer. And so uh, it was very beneficial. And you know, very early on, I found InstructGPT was so good. I was already using it often as a Google search alternative. We could talk more about that. I mean, obviously, there's still risks that these models can still make up and hallucinate information. But uh, yeah, that was huge. And, you know, uh, ChatGPT, DaVinci 3.5, which was announced uh, last month, past few weeks, uh, they're sort of the next iteration of the Instruct GPT work, which I was a huge fan and advocate of. Uh, it sort of had this other side effect, too, where it reduced the need to do prompt design. Most of the time, the model would, would just know what kind of answer you're, you're looking for. Synthesia.